So uh, this morning we're out after uh, some foxes that I've seen around. Uh, there's basically, we've got an earth just past the farmyard here and um, there's a vixen, at least a couple of youngsters that are there and they've been coming into the farmyard and they've been worrying, the, or they've been hanging around the chickens in the farmyard there and the uh, farmer's wife there, she's worried that one of the uh, youngsters or the vixen's going to take some chickens from her. So um, we've just, uh, I've, I've basically left them until you guys come down and uh, we get out and do some filming. So I'm hoping that where we are at the moment, um, we're going to be in a good position to, to get a shot. Um, basically we're up on the silage clamp here and uh, we're likely to see some foxes coming out of the, the trees just in front of me here to my left, which is about, about 150 uh, metres away. Um, I know she's got an earth in there. I've seen the cubs on this side uh, and all along the, the far hedgerow over there. So um, I'm pretty confident if we hang around here for the morning um, and if we don't, we don't see anything, we can always pop back later on this evening and have another go. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty optimistic. So I've um, uh, heard a couple of magpies chattering away in the trees over there, so that's usually a good sign. Normally when the magpies start kicking off, um, it, it's a sign that there's a predator about, such as a fox. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite optimistic we'll see something in a minute. Well, that was a good start. That one was uh, just over 200 yards, and uh, I've just only stuck like half a minute of, uh, or half an MI of um, adjustment on there, but just want to make sure I drilled it exactly where I wanted it, and uh, it's gone down lovely, so very pleased with that. Cool. Hey! Hey! Brilliant. That's the second one down. Nice. That one just comes straight down the middle of this field here. I don't even know where he came from. He just appeared. He must have come across that track up by the gate up the top there. But, um, yeah, he's, uh, just come straight out in the middle there. Luckily I managed to stop him with a shout just before he, he went right into that long grass. Well he was just starting to go into it but hopefully he managed to get that on film alright. Brilliant. Well I think that's it for the morning. We've had a couple so I'm pleased with that. Um, the farm's going to sort of come to life before long, so uh, I want to get out of the way before uh, if one sort of turns up. But um, that's a good start, so I think what we do now is uh, I'll probably come back later on this evening and uh, just have another look, because I'm pretty sure there's still one or two about. So hopefully we'll carry on the, uh, the good results for this evening as well.
Okay, so we've come back out this evening. Um, I've bought with me the Remington 700, a nice form stock there. That's uh, a 243 and we're using the, uh, the Rico thermal scope. So um, I'm gonna get back up on the uh, silage clamp there and hopefully uh, clear up the rest of these foxes. Hey! Right, pleased with that. That was, um, we had a, well, we thought it was a, a fox, but it turned out to be a rabbit that we had at the back there. Um, we was watching it for a little bit and it wasn't moving. And we didn't, we couldn't quite decide if it was a fox in the long grass or a rabbit down there. So uh, I started giving it a little squeak just to see if we could, um, could pull it in if it was a fox. And, um, it wasn't moving and I, I just just uh, through habit I had a little scan around with the thermal it's always worth having a scan around the thermal when you're cooling because you you know you might be cooling one that's sat out in the distance and you get another one just turns up out the hedge right next to it so I had a quick pan around with the um, with the thermal and then spotted another one that was out sat on top of the uh, the chalk right by the earth on the edge of the wood so I um, kept squeaking eventually it came down the chalk and started coming across the field and uh, I was able to knock that over, it's about 140 yards, something like that, just over 140 yards. And uh, yeah, the Remington done the business, 243 round, and um, another one down. So, really good, good result. Excellent, that's the dog fox, so that's, uh, that's really good. So we've got the dog, the vixen, and the cub. It's quite a decent fox, that. That's good, because that's all the, uh, that's basically the whole sort of family that we've seen up here. We haven't seen any more than that. But I think what we do is we put the uh, fox pro cooler out and just give it a, a little go, just to be sure. So um, we'll fire that up and just see if anything else comes in. If not, then uh, I think we've uh, done the job on this farm. So, all good. I 
site, so this looks like a good place to put the cooler. It's probably only about 60, 70 yards from the uh, silage there, but if I put it here, and I've still got a good view, and uh, it's going to be in range for the remote on it. And, um, yeah, so I think it comes in, we'll see it coming in in plenty of time. Grass is all short here, so it's perfect. We've got juvenile red foxes. We'll go with that one. Pull him up. So we've um, we've had a good call here for a good half hour or so with the Fox Pro. Um, we haven't pulled anything else in apart from an owl that's sat on the fence post still over there. But other than that, it's pretty quiet. So I think we'll um, we'll call it a night.